this is Talk to Tanji. I'm from a little town called Columbus, Mississippi, and I've come all the way here to show you exactly how you can live abundantly. Fear is nothing, you hear me? You can do anything you put your mind to. I'm your girl, Talk to Tanji. We're gonna do life together. your girl Dr. Tanji or on this show you already know you are my friend and welcome to another edition of Talk to Tanji. I am so so excited this evening. I'm so excited that one you allowed me to come into your home into your ear gate. You got to know that I do not take that lightly or for granted. Seriously I do not. I understand that you literally could be having or watching any other show on this island in this country but you're gonna hang out with me for a few minutes and uh, that makes me feel real good. I've met some amazing people this week, <laughs> last week that I said you know what this is why I do the show. I've been getting compliments <laughs> and I'm grateful for the compliments I am that my going out in the community and allowing your voice to be heard it is something new it's something refreshing and it's something that I vow to you that I will do hence the name talk to Tanji <laughs> you know back in the day I think it was like 1994 after my first bout with cancer, I knew that I did not want to do another nine to five. And for those who have joined me and they know my story, it was something about having a business. Back, at, back then, I thought it was my business. Isn't it something how you can think you own stuff? <laughs> We don't own anything, man. We don't even own our next breath. <laughs> and now I know that to be true. So what did I do? I wrote my plan down. I was bold enough to say, okay, daddy, this is what I believe you're calling me into. And the story goes that I wanted to start a nanny service. I got tickled because when he gave me nanny, I'm thinking, you know that black folk ain't don't have no business. Lord, we are the nanny. <laughs> but God, right? 20 something odd years later, I'm still in the game, still doing what I really love to do, placing nannies and babysitters and certified nursing assistants and uh, what else? Nurses into the homes of those who need that extra help. And I am grateful to, so very grateful to be able to do that. We're literally opening two new offices. Look at God, right? <laughs> it's not my genius, it's his. And uh, I'm excited about that. I really, really am. I do not take it lightly or for granted. Now, we've got a gentleman that's gonna be on the show that is gonna tell his story. He loves doing what he's doing because you can just feel it when he talks about it. But there's a passion that is laying in this guy. And I'm so excited to introduce him. I'm telling you, I'm trying to keep my composure here, but I'm about to run up out of these shoes. <laughs> I had an opportunity to talk to him before we came on air and to listen to him, to be in his presence. I'm getting goosebumps all over because Wow, you think I'm like energetic or <laughs> whatever, at lab you've been calling me? Man, you should hear this guy. He's none other than Jirian Shallery. Yes. And yes. he brings us greetings from a little place called Miku. <laughs> but more than that, he has a purpose that he's not afraid to talk about. He's not afraid to share. And uh, I need you to hear his story because it's going to literally, if you've been on the fence about what you want to do, what is it that God placed in your hands to do, in your mind to do, he's going to show you exactly how to do it. I'm so happy that he's here. Oh, my God. I'm telling my age now. I feel like I could be his mama. <laughs> Look at me. want to be everybody's mama. But anyway, <laughs> without further ado, would you give a nice, hearty welcome to Mr. Jerry and Shallery? Yeah, 
Thank you. Thank you for having me here. Thank oh you. my Thank God, you. I'm so happy that you're here. Can you yes. see that I'm happy? <laughs> I can see the goosebumps. I can literally see the goosebumps. Jerrion, I've got yes. this proverbial question that I ask all of my guests. Mm -hmm. How did you get here? I want to hear that story of, wow. you're a young man who, I mean, you're, you're in tourism. I, I'm already booking a, a, wow. a package <laughs> with you. I am. But before we get into it, that comment, they're already telling me we got to go for break. Oh, man. <laughs> Stay tuned. We'll be right back. And he's going to tell us his how did I get here moment. Be right back. Dr. Tanji, you know from the Talk to Tanji show, are you ready to maximize your business exposure? Of course you are. Why not consider placing an ad right here with me on the Talk to Tanji show on DBS? Dr. Tanji, and whenever I get ready for a show, I use the Toy Day food. The Toy Day food is a proud sponsor of the Dr. Tanji show and Talk to Tanji. Dr. Tanji, I'm from a little town called Columbus, Mississippi, and I've come all the way here to show you exactly how you can live abundantly. Fear is nothing, you hear me? You can do anything you put your mind to. I'm your girl, Talk to Tanji. We're gonna do life together. All right, we are back. I'm your girl, Tanji. <laughs> on this show, but you can call me Dr. Tanji if you like, no worries. And uh, I was about to talk to this gentle person here to my left. I'm so excited that he's here. Jirian. Yes. Shallery. Yes. I like that name. Shallery. Jirian, <laughs> how did you get here? How did you get to this point in your life where you're saying, you know what? I've, I've got a business. I'm going to start my business and I'm going to work my business. How did you get here, dear? Well, to be honest, the way I got here, I'm actually on the show right now, but it started with me having a mindset of my own ah. and believing that anything I put my mind to, I could get there. Ah. That's my aim I always had when I was at secondary school. Come on now. Secondary school, help me with that because in, in America, secondary school, I want to say is maybe fourth grade. What grade were you? I was actually in, let's see, well, in St. Lucia's, that would be from, from three hours six, so that's like grade uh, seven, grade wow. eight, about that. Wow, are you yeah. serious? Yeah. So you knew that you wanted to do something? Well, the, not really. I always, got the, <laughs> I always got the quotation, people always tell me, anything you put your mind to, yeah, yeah, yeah. you could get there in life. Absolutely. You sound like my mama. Hey, mama. <laughs> She's from Mississippi. And, yeah, so uh, that's the mentality I have from the time I've been growing up. And then so far, I'm doing good, and I'm actually seeing myself growing every day. Wow. Yes. Wow. So let me ask you, you know, I'm going to have to ask you these questions, sure. right? Because I know that there is someone who may be listening who may be saying to themselves, you know, I want to have this business. I know I can do it. I've got that same mindset, but how do I get out of my own way? So how did you realize, because your business is great captures, yeah. right? Great captures. How did you realize that that is where you really wanted to spend the lion's share of your time? 
Well, I found out about that when I got a passion for photography. Ah, yes. talk about it. <laughs> to be honest, um, at school, I was always doing pictures for projects and stuff like that. And I always got the fact that I have the best photography. Oh so God. now, at my school, I'm going to start from the school part. Yeah. I always wanted to sign up for photography classes, but the school never had it. So now that I exit the school, I left school, I graduated. And my very first job <laughs> was photography. Hold up, time out. Hold yes. up, dude. You're not going to, uh-uh. You, you, slow that down. <laughs> yes. you're, you're, you've got this, you've got a vision of what you wanted, right? Yes. And the school didn't offer it? They offered it, but we never had a teacher to teach the classes from form one to form five. I got, do you see these show bumps here? How dare you have a vision and have a goal or have a dream and there not be a teacher? Nobody was wow. higher calling. Wow. Nobody was higher calling. So what do you do when you, you, you've got the wherewithal, okay, because the mind is a place where you want to hang out in. Yes. What do you do when you want to get this out and there's no teacher? Wow. Wow. To be honest, I didn't have anybody to teach me. Like you just said, I observe a lot. I listen a lot. I watch people work a lot. I, and I always used to be used myself as the biggest competitor. I don't compete myself with anybody. I always used to compete. Like I would look at my work. I started my photography business in 2012, Great Captures. And Great Captures <laughs> came out from my name because my name is Jiri and Shallery. Yeah. And I wanted something to be the initial GC, Great Captures. I wanted oh to be different gosh, in life. Look at this man. Oh my God. Yes. What? And so, so you, you, the name, but right before we came, came on air, you said, there was something to the name. Would you speak on that? Because oftentimes, all right, people will come up with a name or come up with a slogan, but not know exactly what it means to put something like that into the world or into the business place. Talk on the name. Great captures. Yeah. Well, to be honest, um, a business name is very easy to come up with. But when you have meaning and you, want, you see what you want in life, and how would I put it? Like you have the vision, but you want to come up with a name that when people see it or hear it, yeah. they could see exactly what you have in your mind. So it, Great Captures took me literally four years to come up with. <laughs> I give this a lot of fun. <laughs> a lot, a lot of fun. So what do you do when you know that you've got this, this, this greatness in you, right? Mm -hmm. You've got it in you. And, and, and I'm going to kind of bounce back and forth with this teacher not being on her post. I'm sorry, or right, his right, post. Right. You've got this in you, but you're still going forward with a name. Even though you're looking at other people's work and you're kind of getting, you know, the, the skill set down. How did you even know that Great Captures? Yes, we, we get the name, but how did you know that it was time to be birthed? <sighs> I really did not know. I really did not know. <laughs> to be you honest, laugh? I had literally put it on a side. No and way. I was pushing another career called a radio station. I had a station, well, not a station, but an online radio station. Okay, here's what. <laughs> it, there's so much in these great captures. So what I was saying is that I put photography on a side. Great captures on a side. No, photography on a side. I didn't have a name yet. Okay. You remember I said it took me four years. It took you four years. So before I got the name, I was pushing photography. But however, I was giving it second thoughts. And no way. I had, a, I had a talent in me. I never knew that was a talent for radio personalities. I'm going to give you the story. And yeah, I can I see was, you in radio. I can see that. <laughs> <laughs> and to be honest, I was working with a company in St. Lucia, a photography company. I'm going to say what, um, with a company called Reflections. Okay. And um, during our little break, our lunch break, I used to be practicing like I'm on a radio station, not knowing that I had such talent. And then I met a young guy, a friend of mine, a co-worker of mine called Courage. I don't really know his original name, but yeah, he's a very good talented singer as well. Yeah. And he introduced me to Dr. King. Dr. King. Yes. Okay, talk on Dr. King. Dr. Yes. King sounds like he was or she was someone who inspired you. Dr. King, now uh, the one that's in St. Lucia at the main hospital, Tapion. Yes, he has this business or the part of this organization called Rise St. Lucia. Okay. So, yes. And this guy introduced me to the organization, right, St. Lucia? Yeah. I hope I'm not going too fast, but... <laughs> You're going fast enough, man. You're inspiring me to do more. <laughs> <laughs> so, this is what happened. So, I got information about Rice St. Lucia, and Dr. King decided that he's going to assist us with a radio station. 
which we got to see something about the place. Oh, come on. No, I'm still being in a photography. I know I want to pursue that talent, pursue that career. But yeah. at the same time, I want to pursue my radio station. <laughs> but it was an online radio station. Aha. Uh -huh. You make it sound like online is a bad thing. Oh, for all of those who are online, you're doing a really good job, okay? <laughs> <laughs> thank you, thank you. Yeah, so you're doing this. Yeah, so this happened, and it was going good. I was enjoying it, but for some reason, the money was not really always there. Like, uh -huh. it was always a struggle for me and stuff like that. And um, my sister always told me, my mom always told me, Jirian, you need to do photography, you need to do photography, you need to do wow. photography. And I'm like, how do I even start? I don't even have a camera. And I'm in the job, but how do I even start? So now, I gave up the radio station. Really? I put away my equipment, I put it home, and I say, you know what? <laughs> I will get myself another job into photography. So I got myself with uh, the Photoshop in Rodney Bay. Okay. The shout out to the Photoshop in Rodney Bay. Thank you, KFC. Photoshop. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And then I liked it there. I loved it there. But some reason, I keep hearing I need to start my own business. I need to do wow. my own thing. Wow. So I say, you know what, man? I will leave the job. It was 2012. I was at the age of, what age was I? 21. Uh -huh. Yeah, uh -huh. that young. Uh -huh. You see, <laughs> yes. you're, you're trying to rush this thing. Uh-uh. <laughs> <laughs> so you're 21 years old. At the age, 2012. 2012. You're 21 yes. years old. But you, you can't really shake the fact that there's, this is in me. I, yeah. I got to get it out. Well, yeah, I was looking for the company, but yeah. I just keep a hand on call. I need to do my own thing because I need to be different in life. And I like the job, but I just was in two minds. Should I leave or should I stay? Because I put a passion into everything I do. Oh, my God. If I'm going to give you my all, I'd rather give you nothing. Jerry, so please don't do this to me. I've got to get through this show. Don't make me cry. And <laughs> please don't make me sweat any, low, any more than what I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> so you're... You're passionate. You yes. live your life passionately. I would say optimistic as well. I never know what's coming, but I'm just going to give you the short. Wow. So it happened that <laughs> I left the company, I left Photoshop, and I took my whole salary to buy my first camera. Oh, dear God. And lucky me, who knows? Lucky you. L-U-C-K is living under Christ's kindness. <laughs> <laughs> lucky so me. I'm waking up some memories right now. I remember I got my first contract with a friend of mine with St. Lucia Cultural. What's the um, what's the company again? St. Lucia is on the it's by the cultural center. What's the yeah, 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 yeah. I didn't know. How That's all right. We're gonna look it up uh, when we CDF. Going. All right. right. CDF. 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 All it right. was the Adrian Festival, all right? And that was my one of my first biggest contracts at the very same year. And so, all right. <laughs> you're, you're glossing, dude. You're glossing. <laughs> You left the online radio. Yes, I left on the side. Dr. King has said something to you to kind of jolt you into your now. Yes, he actually supported me for like six months into the radio station. Wow. Yes, so that wow. was, a, I would say it was a success because I got through, but I felt like, you know what, there's a higher calling for me. There you go. And that's where I want you right there. Yeah. You knew even at the Photoshop, and you were excited about being there because you're you're doing something that you love to do, right? Yes, yes. But yes. it was something you said about your mom and your sister. Yes. They sound like they were kind of holding your ladder, so to speak. I would say that. Yeah. Or maybe they were the one God using to speak to me, I guess. Ah. So they keep telling me, Julia, you need to do your own thing. You have a talent for photography and stuff yeah. like that. So I got my first camera, and here I was in St. Lucia. My God, that day was very busy for me doing photography. Are you serious? It was very, very busy. So, oh, Julian, Julian, Julian. <laughs> you're, you're, you're doing it. Yes. You've launched yourself into the deep. Yes. Mm -hmm. All right? What was that like? Being there, seeing the opportunities that were presenting themselves, mm -hmm. You were ready. I don't know if I was ready, but I was just going in the flow. <laughs> Period. I was expecting I, you to say, yeah, I was ready. I was, no, I was very confident. I was very confident I had the faith I could have done it. Because I've done it before faith. the companies, but now I'm on my own. I don't know what tomorrow holds, but I was going in the present day. Yes. Wow. Yes. Yes. Very wow. Busy. So you're doing that, and I'm, I'm assuming you're doing it full throttle, meaning yes, you don't freelance. have anything else to lean on. Is that no. correct? Wow. 
talk if you will, because I know that there are some persons that are watching. They're listening to what you're saying. Mm -hmm. They have mom and sister report, uh, support or friends, a circle of friends that are saying, do it, do it, do it. They have a Dr. King that have spoken in their lives yes. and done one, wonderful things. They've got the skill set, but they're afraid. Evidently, and I don't want to assume anything, mm -hmm. you were not operating in fear. No. Huh. Fear is fake evidence of being real. And God did not give us a spirit of fear. God did not give us a spirit of fear. Hey, but the Do you see the chill bumps? <laughs> God did not give us a spirit give of fear. Give me the acronym for fear again, man. Fake, F-E-A-R. Fake evidence of being real. So it's something you put in your head. So what if you give it a try and worked out? Huh? At least the biggest mistake we could ever make in life is not trying. Oh my God. You sound like the, the things that I say to myself <laughs> in the morning times when I'm looking at myself and I don't have the makeup or the hair I do <laughs> and the pearls and I'm saying, you better get yourself in gear, chick. Yeah. <laughs> you better come on and show up. Wow. That's what it is about life. You gotta try out there because we got yeah. life is so short. Um, the biggest risk you could take in life is not taking a risk. That's the way I see it. The biggest risk, okay, all right, he, he's, he's doing it to me. The biggest risk that you can take in life is not taking, taking a the risk. risk. Wow. I'm serious. Oh, I know you are. Yeah. I'm about to kick these shoes off. I know you're serious. Yeah. <laughs> so you're, you're doing it. Yeah. And you're not looking back over your shoulder to see how far you've come. You're literally doing it. I'm washing my hands. So how did you get your contracts? How did you get the people that know who Jerrion Chasri well, is? I believe the way I used to get my contract, it was that I used to offer a lot of free opportunities or free photo shoots. Or I used to just go to events or maybe a concert or maybe to the school and just do free photo shoots. And if they liked the work, they would accept, I would give it to them free of charge. If they like it, they would call me back. And when they do call me back, I would offer a price. Oh, dear, 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 dear. Oh, oh, marketing 505. <laughs> <laughs> you would give away services. Yes, free of charge. You don't have any other income coming in. Right. But you believed in yourself so much that you would give it away knowing that yes. if you build it, if you make it, they'll come. Right. Talk <laughs> about a field of dreams. Wow. Yes. And it worked. Yes, it did work on <laughs> first day. That is more to that. It worked. Wow. Yeah. So what would you say to someone who's saying, but man, you don't understand, dude. I got this bill, dude. I got Lucillet, dude. <laughs> well, to be Shout honest, out to Lucillet. <laughs> speaking of which, that's quite interesting. I was a free, I'm a freelancer photography, and now I'm taking bus every day to do my shoots and stuff like that. But how do I get to move about when it's in the night? Mm. So I realized, okay, I'm getting older. I need a vehicle because the business is getting bigger. And I was just at the age of 23 at the time. Yeah. And I went online Facebook and searching for a vehicle to buy in St. Lucia, which I did go one online. I went to the Credit Union, more for Credit Union, to get myself a loan. Okay, let's uh, hold on. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm, I'm, we're going to be name dropping because I expect every company that we are talking about to give us a call and let <laughs> us know that you heard it on. I talked to Tanji and you want to advertise with us. What was the name of the Credit Union? More for Credit Union. Wow. Yeah. And they gave you an opportunity. Yes, that was my very first look. Actually, my second look. I took a loan with them to buy a camera. Yes. You're going to make me cry. Shame on you. Because <laughs> well, I don't want to cry. It's the moment, and then again, it's, it's, it's life. It feeling what I'm saying, what I'm saying, basically. Wow. Yes. Sometimes when I look back at my life, I feel emotional about it. I've gotten that far. Oh, my God. Do you yeah. know how many excuses that people will give themselves? I don't have it. <laughs> Nobody's going to support me. What if I take the chance and nobody, I'm giving away all of my work and nobody books me? What got you through those moments where you really did not know? Friends, I put God first every day in my life. Hi. I put God first every day in my life. Um, how would I say it? I'm a very god fearing person and then I go to church on Saturdays and then I just put God first in my life and I just give it to God. There's more to that. Yes, just have faith that it's going to work out because Jeremiah chapter 29, verse 11 says, For I know the plans I have for you, say of the Lord. 
I have no idea what plans I have for myself, to be honest. I'm just going with the talents God gave me. Because God gave us talents, if we don't use it, literally you'll take it back. That's the way I see it. So when Matthew talk about where he gave some of his disciples or his people some talents, and one of them did, went and hide it, was not showing off his talent, and God took it back. And those that use the talents, he multiplied. And because of photography, great captures, I have unleashed so many talents in me that I never knew that was literally there. For example, because of photography, I understood for the videography, that's to do for camera as well. I understood editing as well. And I also met a good friend of mine, Kendrick, at uh, Photographic Images, and we talked a lot. And I love showed me that a few guy. Stuff out. <laughs> <laughs> I know that guy you're talking yes, about. Yes. And... He showed me a lot, basically. Wow. He was into photography before me. And right now, I believe he's still there. <laughs> I don't want to say I'm not there, but photography has taken me to another career in my life I never saw, I never thought I would ever be right now. Yes. You are. And that is the reason. Wow. I want to continue pursuing photography, but I believe there's another calling for me after photography. After? Why not with? I would say with, how would I put it? How would I put it? Well, to be honest, the story, like you like stories. I'm going <laughs> yes, to go to the detail. <laughs> so I'm a photographer, great captures, right? Julian Charlie, people know me around St. Lucia. Uh, it's been 17 years I'm into photography. Oh, come on, Julian. 17 years. Stop that. I'm over 17 years, yeah. <laughs> It started in 2008, so you could do the Maybe Maybe I'm thinking you're 23, 24 years old. This dude said 17 years. How <laughs> dare you make my makeup run? <laughs> yes. Yeah, it is. Wow. So long, Look at you. you. That's what it is. So it happened that I do photography and I do a lot of um, romantic and engagement shoots and birthdays. And I'm someone I'm very passionate about St. Lucia. Pretty much St. Lucia is my God. St. Lucia is amazing. Can wow. I say that right there? I love St. Lucia too. <laughs> this is truly a country where the dreams of dreamers are so big, they can't be contained, right, right? That legacy can be lived not only when you're, oh, you're done with this body, right. but it is to be lived every day. Amen. And you're living a legacy right now. You're living a yes. legacy. Wow. I've been told that, but I'm still trying to see it. <laughs> <laughs> You know you are. <laughs> yeah. So you're, you're doing tourism. We're going to juxtapose into tourism and you're tying it into photography. Yes. Wow. So basically what happened is that, so doing my photo shoots, I don't know what's that, but doing my photo shoots, like let's just say we go to a beach in Sufra. It's a very nice beach. Okay. But people does not really know about that specific beach. For example, let's say Black Sand Beach or Marble Beach in Sufra. Okay. Yes. So I'm doing a photo shoot here, and I'm done in the photo shoot. I would literally take my phone and be like, oh my God, I'm wearing a marble beach, a black sun beach in the photo shoot. Have you check it out yet? So is the best, man. Check out the black sun beach, man. And then I would take that same video, post it on my status on WhatsApp or Facebook, whichever. And then I never knew statuses were so important, to be honest. And people would take this thing serious. I never knew that was so important. So it happened that persons were seeing those videos they were like, oh my God, do you know all the spots in St. Lucia? Like, I need a photo shoot. But however, that same client or person <laughs> would look at the video and say, you know what, this guy knows St. Lucia. So what happened is that a family member is coming to St. Lucia, right? Or a friend is coming to St. Lucia, right? Uh, yeah. And they were like, oh my God, I know a photographer. He knows St. Lucia. But I don't want a photo shoot. I want a tour with him because he knows the island. And like, then I would get a call like, yo, Jiren, hey, um, I have this family member of mine and then... I need to show them around. I need to tour them around the island. Like, I don't know the island. I'm just knowing sports. <laughs> how do I do? How do I tour a friend around? I'm not a tour guy. So now I say, you know what? You know the island. Just show them around. Just show them around. So I would show them certain places, maybe the Twin Mountains or maybe Sufre or maybe uh, certain places in San Lucia, the nice sure. area. For sure. And then while I'm doing that, I will still take my phone again and pick. I never knew. That tomb, fake it till you make it. But I'm not faking it till I make it. I was just having fun faking it. I never knew. Fake it till you make it would have literally happened. So basically, I was just faking. I'm a tour guide. I'm doing this. I'm driving around with guests and blah, 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 blah. This is St. Lucia. Not knowing persons were taking that serious. Wow. Yes. So it happened that I would get another call again. Julian, I need you to do this and stuff like that. And at the same time, we're posting the pictures. So it happened that 
I took a break. I said, you know what? I'm not going to be doing that again because it looked like I uh, have another curse calling for me, which I have no idea what am I doing with my life. Oh, my God. So I gave it a break. And then <laughs> at some point in time, I, I remember once in 2018, I lose a lot in life. When I lose a lot. Aye. I never really spoke about it, but I lose a lot. Mm. Um, <clears throat> do you mind sharing? Oh, boy. How do I say this? <laughs> I tell you what. You think about it. We're going to take a really quick break here. Didn't I tell you we had someone that was going to blow your mind? This man is blowing my mind. Stay tuned. Without my lip conditioner and lip scrub from Etoy de Fa. It's perfect for this kind of weather and any activity. I'm Dr. Tanji from the Dr. Tanji Show and Dr. Tanji, and I endorse this product. <laughs> Dr. Tanji is on a mission to help you rediscover God's purpose for your life. And she does this by teaching you how to change your perspectives according to his original plan for you. If you are experiencing bouts of failure or an inability to do things right, she is here to assist you in ending those thoughts that can indeed lead to a depressing mindset. She calls you to emulate the processes a full-scale mind shift requires by replacing religious ideologies and traditions that oftentimes create a sense of struggle. Dr. Tanji provides you with much-needed insight, encouragement, and motivation to not only assist you in rediscovering your dreams, but she systematically shows you how to no longer chase them, but how to manifest them. Dr. Tanji is the Caribbean's very own inspirational and motivational speaker, our life and spiritual coach, and someone who delivers hope, encourages our faith, and showcases that we must live a life that is. This is Dr. Tanji. I'm from a little town called Columbus, Mississippi, and I've come all the way here to show you exactly how you can live abundantly. Fear is nothing, you hear me? You can do anything you put your mind to. I'm your girl, Talk to Tanji. We're gonna do life together. And we're back. Yep, I had to go and wipe away some tears <laughs> because I really didn't want to cry. I did not, but how can you be around someone who's so full of life who's so full of purpose, and you not get infected with what they're carrying. I like that kind of infection, dude. <laughs> All right, we're here with Jirian. And Jirian, you're telling us now of some of the hiccups. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I like to term those things hiccups. And that's all they were because you're still standing. Yeah. Tell your story. Wow, so I guess I was talking about why I lose a lot on that. Yeah. <clears throat> I don't know where to start, but okay, how would I say it? So, 2018, I remember that I was indecisive about a lot of stuff. I had no idea where my life was going. I know I was doing something good, but I was not into really a job at the time. Okay. I had just left a construction company. I was the main graphic designer for the company. So, if you do not know, oh, wow. I am somewhat talented in graphic design. Oh, dear God. Yes. Okay, tourism, photography, uh, dancing, hula hooping. Uh, oh. <laughs> I had to throw that in because I love the hula hoop, even though I can't keep it around the place. <laughs> so, you're a graphic designer, too. Yes. And I wow. was the main graphic designer for that company, and I had a lot of work displayed all in town, billboards and stuff like that. Yes, I have a lot of work oh. around San Lucia, to be honest, a lot that I see every day. Are you even serious? Right now, presently, even like, now? Yes. So it happened that I left the job, and I wanted to continue pursuing my photography, but since I was working for a company, I lose a lot of my clients. Okay. And it was a lot to okay. build back up. And okay. then... 
Do you think because of the set hours that you do when you're working for or with a company versus when your clients need you at one o'clock and you're on the job? Yeah. Okay. Okay. So then I'll recommend somebody else. So it happened that ah. I was just there. I had no idea what to do. But in that year, I was very much idle, I would say, but not so idle, but still thinking of where I'm going. Wow. But that year, I recall, persons were asking me to do house again for them. Like, they would have a house. I had no idea where I could have done that. <laughs> <laughs> and they would leave the island and have the house on my account. I'll do house again for them in my area. I looked at it as a job, but I wasn't really charging for that. I just wanted to do it for fun. So it happened that that specific person left the island and literally went to get married and they leave St. Lucia completely never to return. Oh dear. And wow, lo and behold, I never thought I could have ever gotten such a blessing like this. They left the whole house for me. Yeah, I never really talked about it. Wow. With washing machine, clothes, food in the fridge, everything was mine. Oh dear God. Yes. Talk about having God's favor on your life. That's when I really understood what was really happening. Like, really, God gave me that? Like, I could enter oh, all of that. Oh, my God. Wow. I just being there and supporting somebody without a charge, I got double full. I like, really? Oh, whole house, yo. Do you hear this? <laughs> I'm so sorry. But your gifts will make room and they'll bring you before a great man. Don't be afraid to give and not charge for it. Everything is not about the dollar. as our Kendrick would say. So oh, this is emotional, I must say. I'm so sorry, but <laughs> this is you. This is your life. Yeah. And you there's no faking it till you make it in this one. How about that? Sure, sure. You sure, literally sure, sure. wow to walk into something like that, Jerry, and, and you didn't ask for it. You didn't pray for it. Right. God saw fit, as my mama would say, God saw fit to give it to you because he knew he could trust you. Thank you. Wow. Now, what I realized in life again, I just, that just came to my mind a while ago. Um, as I'm speaking about God, I realized God tend to give us, wow, <laughs> God tend to give us the ending before the beginning. Come on. I've been saying that all my life. I don't know why, I but my how, children but that. Mm -hmm. He tend to give us the ending uh -huh. before the beginning. Uh -huh. So, speaking of 2018 of the house, I got it, I have it, I'm utilizing it, I have no idea how I'm going to pay the bills because it's on my account and I have to find work. I'm not, um, how do I say? I don't have my clients like before, oh, yeah. but I still gotta pay the bills. However, yeah. the bills were being paid. I was getting little jobs and stuff like that. <laughs> now, somebody found out I am in charge of the house, and then um, they said I'm not that qualified person to have a house, and blah, blah, blah. The person came down, and I was taken from me. I was looking forward to buy it, which is the house, but I, the person said that's not for sale. So oh. in my head, I'm like, Okay, oh, I did not God. pay for it. I did not ask for it. But I can leave it up to God. So the house went for total renovation and it was it's renting out right now. So I said, you know what? It's another calling for me. That year I also broke up with my girlfriend because I felt like I could not that was not the best person. That wow. year I wasn't getting much jobs. I sold my car. And I was like, even my phone got damaged that year. Like, oh I... yo, like what is really happening here? Like, this is not normal. Like I never thought I could have ever lose so much in life like that. I've been there. I know exactly what that feels but like. But I was still going to church. Like. I was still praising God. I was oh, still... Absolutely. That's what we do. I'm somebody. <laughs> I'm a big fan of the church. I always find myself in the church with the musicians and I was in the live band and stuff like that. And I'm just a big fan of music in the church and stuff like that. Wow. So I never gave up on continuing. Um, 2019 happened. Yeah. Yes. My mom, how do I put it? How do I put it? How do I put it? 2019, I think that was the best year we ever had in our life. Ever before COVID, because when I was for before sure, COVID, for sure, I remember I had to travel. Wow, I got a job in Martinic to travel. Oh come on! To do photography for two or three events. <laughs> I was the DJ. Oh, wow, I didn't even mention that. <laughs> <laughs> I told you, whole event. <laughs> I like me DJ and events in another country. Like, how do I do that? It's a French country. Like, what? Do yeah, I do yeah, that? for sure. So that was the job to DJ to do photography and also. Just be myself and enjoy life. I have no idea where I get in the money. Where I get in the money. I love it. So the time came, I had to travel the island, and then I got the money the day before I left. I have no idea how did I get the money. Like, people were owing me. I'm sorry, it. I'm laughing, but that's 
how I live my life. <laughs> I'm like, Daddy, I don't see it, but you see it. So would you create a fish for me and put the money in right. the fish? And he does every time. So you're traveling to St. Mar Martinique. Yeah, Martinique. Yes. And you're you're doing what you love to do. Yes. What is that like? That was a great experience for me because I never went to money before. I've traveled before in my life at the age of 11. That was yeah. very young, so I don't remember everything. For sure. But 2019, I was the age of, what's my age at the time? <laughs> I love him. <laughs> yeah, I was 29 at the time. And yeah. then I went over there, I did the job. We had some good time. I never thought money was so beautiful and so developed. Like, wow, it's over there. So it happened that, um, how would I put it? My mom was not feeling well. She okay. was sick, diagnosed okay. with a kidney, like a kidney patient. She mm. kidney was feeling on her, and <clears throat> I always be super for and support her. For sure. But I remember my mom was telling me, like I, I don't know how to put it, but my mom was telling me that she feel like she's going. I like oh, in my dear. head, like no, you're not going. You're getting better. For sure. And that was 2019. So I told her, mom, I have to do this, and I want to go to Monica and supply. She let me, She told me to go. Just go and have my fun, right? So I had, I did that. I came back to Selena share. Everything was going good. My mom is okay and stuff like that. Yeah. Everything is fine. And then, wow, photography again, coming back to that. There's this young person from my church who was another talented person, very, very talented young person, yeah. a lady. Who was big shout out going out to Kezia. <laughs> Hi, Kezia. <laughs> I guess, I guess um, since I do photography, I see said the church photography and stuff like that. And then she needed my help or to do a uh, Movie, not a movie play, like a skit play. Okay. I never knew I had such talent in me to do acting in acting. So I assisted with the acting in the church. And then we had a drama play, just like our Tyler Perry would have a drama play. For sure, for sure. And the drama play was named Once Upon a Miracle, right? Oh, come on. Once Upon a Miracle. <laughs> After every miracle that you <laughs> lived, right? Well, God I has a wonderful like sense that. of humor, doesn't he? I never thought of it like that. Yeah, Once Upon a Miracle. It happened that... I was the pastor in the show. Aye, aye, yes. aye, aye, aye. So it happened that we had a major show at a school in that area and we sold out tickets and stuff like that. It was a really, really good wow. show. However, we wanted to pursue that show in order to pass St. Lucia, yeah. the, the skit play. And we didn't have the funding for it at no point in time. We okay. just didn't have the funding for it. For sure. So it happened that I said, you know what, I do photography. I have the talent for editing and videography. And I've seen her talent. She's a very, 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 my God, she's very talented in script writing. Wow. She's a really good writer. Really? So she edited the script, and I said, you know what? I'm going to assist that person to get that movie out there, or to get that show out there. Oh, stop that. Yes. So I have no knowledge about movie editing. I have no knowledge about acting. I have no knowledge about directing light. I, well, I know about lighting and For stuff. For sure. Like that. And we went out looking for fundings. Certain places, agencies in San Lucia, they yeah. said they're going to assist us, but we never get the assistance that ah, we needed. Okay. So we said, you know what, move on and apply. It was 2019, summer, July, uh, that's the time for okay. children to have fun. Okay. And that group have about 19 to 25 of us. So however, we did the movie. We did, we used July and August to shoot the whole movie. Oh, come on. So we did, I did a recording for a movie in 2019. Yeah, however, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. December, I got a job because I never really went back and edited the movie because I was trying to look for what kind of means of making okay. money. Absolutely. So let's give you the story. So for it sure. happened that it happened that 2019 I got a call from my boss personally while working for the tourism industry that I applied for a job. I applied for a job, but I never okay. Just to be correct. <laughs> I always got the call. I in. Love just, you. To be sure, just to be sure. People always tell me, Julia, you need to find yourself into tourism. You have a talent for it. You have a, you have charisma for it. Okay. You have the, you look like you could really yeah, yeah, make yeah. a difference yeah. into tourism. I'm like, oh my uh -huh. god. Like, seriously, I don't see myself in that. I don't know nothing about San Lucia. I don't know the history. So I just said, no, let me just apply just for applying sake. For sure. So yeah, I just applied and then three months after I got a call from my boss and he told me that he would like to interact with me and see me and speak with me. And I'm looking for a driver. So I got the job in 2019. And my God. <laughs> oh my God. Tourism hit me different. I never thought I would have reached it that far. And I believe well, because of that, I'm here as well today. Wow. So it happened that tourism happened. Then COVID hit. I'm going along the line. COVID hit. Wow. Wow. <laughs> 2020 was a really good, well, 2019 was a really good year. So um, 2020 right now, we go down the ladder. 
and then COVID hit. So there goes tourism, there goes business, as you knew it, right. or what happened? Basically, I was enjoying the job. I loved the job, and I was doing a lot of recordings and stuff like that, if I guess, on with the, my phone. Mm -hmm. And then um, COVID hit, and then I'm like, oh my God, what do I do now? Yeah. Everything is on a complete pause. And then I got back, so I said, you know what? I need to find something to do with my life. So I remember the movie. I never edited the movie. I never had time because I was looking for ways to make money. Oh, don't you dare. Don't so you dare. I recall the island was shut down for like about two months. I used those two months to edit the movie. Yes. Wow. So fast away in the movie was edited. And then I backed out work. And now what happened is that um, I'm going around doing tours and stuff like that, not knowing that while I was recording myself, recording the guests at for sure. work. For sure that it was making a difference in St. Lucia. Wow. I do not want to <laughs> gloss over that. <laughs> Would you please stay tuned? This, if you're not inspired and motivated and ready to move forward right now, then shame on you. <laughs> we'll be right back after this quick break. Wow. And we're back again. We're back. We're back. That's we're back. <laughs> and Sarah and Chris is about to do a little toast. Well, not a toast, but cheers. So a, a cheers and a toast to our beautiful, wonderful DJ driver, bartender. <laughs> Great <Jerry>. host. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much. And now that you heard it for yourself, if you want to enjoy this, come up on to San Lucia. You should. Signing out. <laughs> My music. <laughs> Dr. Tanji, and whenever I get ready for a show, I use the Toy Day food. The Toy Day food is a proud sponsor of the Dr. Tanji show and Talk to Tanji. Dr. Tanji. I'm from a little town called Columbus, Mississippi, and I've come all the way here to show you exactly how you can live abundantly. Fear is nothing, you hear me? You can do anything you put your mind to. I'm your girl, Talk to Tanji. We're gonna do life together. We are back. I'm your girl, Tanji, or as you know me on the street, Dr. Tanji, but I told you right here, it's Fred. This community is to inspire you, is to motivate you, is to move you, and I get to come into the community and bring great people into your homes. I do, just like this gentleman right here, Mr. Jirian Shallery. Yes. So you're telling me that you're at the cuspus of your life. You are, it's 2019, you're approaching 2020, something happens. What's going on? Well, in 2020, my God, wow. Just about two or three before they shut down the island in COVID, yeah. I lost my mom to her kidney. She passed away. Oh, yeah. And that was a very, very dark moment in my life. Oh, baby, I'm so sorry. Yeah. But she taught me a lot in life. She always taught me to believe in myself. And the reason why I have it on my head right now is so long. She was not able to grow my hair. I never grew it for her. So right now, that's the reason why my hair is that long. So uh, and I move on with life. And I always believe that I can make it in life. It, and then I released a movie in August 2020. And I really wish she did so. That's, that's my biggest hurt right now, that she did not get to see the movie. I believe she saw it. Somehow. I really do believe that. Yes. And I'm trying not to cry here, but how dare you do that to me? <laughs> your your pillar of strength. Yeah. Someone who knows you, who knew you before you knew you. Yeah. Your cheerleader. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. 
she has deposited so much in you. My, I'm about yes. to say my son, my, family my, very my friend. Me as well. Wow. Yes, so that happened in my life, and then I went back in my tourism and just doing my thing and just continue recording. And I had a very high passion for tourism at the time. I just, you know what, I gave up on everything and just tourism alone. And doing videos and putting it out there online, I, I assisted my boss in managing the social media page, not knowing that social media is so much of a big thing in the world. And yeah. people started sending me screenshots of my face on a TV station in Central Asia called the Visitor Channel. Whoa! Knew, no way! <laughs> I never knew I had videos or me doing tours on a TV station, which I never sent it to. So, like, wow! That is Talk gotten to a whole other level. God. And now, when I go to certain launches at certain resorts, they're telling me that my videos been at certain resorts on the island. Then you need to monetize that, yeah? <laughs> uh, you're using your likeness. <laughs> Without permission, shame on you. <laughs> That's monetization all day. And I enjoy doing it, and I when I have my guests, I tend to have like a little mini show in the in the vehicle because people spend a lot of money to come to sell. They really do. And I, the, I should know. <laughs> for fun, so the thing I want to do and present to you is give you fun, just make you have a really good time in San Lucia. Yeah. Bottle of champagne. And it's all done already. It's Imagine all that. Done. All bad. And so far they said everything. The 20th anniversary in San Lucia for the first time. It... Ruined deep within, like the golden sun of the Caribbean. Welcome to my playground. And you can dance and sing all day. Oh, under the sun. So right about now, St. Lucia, right about now, we're just taking it nice and easy, oiling it up on a nice party, honeymoon vibe, our nighttime, nighttime nightclub on On the Mari Couple make some noise! Wow. So I understand why people said that was the perfect job or a good calling for me. I got you. Yes. I got you. So you get to impart everything and forgive these tears here. I mean, you didn't tell me all of that, dude. <laughs> um, you get to impart you into lives of people who may have been stuck, may couldn't dream big. We talked off air about this this beautiful reminder on your wrist that says, oh, yeah. dream big. It's a wristband called dream big, and there's another one called inspire the world to change. And I believe I'm doing that right now. You are doing that and right now. And I have now. Sally Sean there as well. Ah, do you hear this? I mean, come on. You are, you're the epitome of life. For you to have gone through so much, and be so young. You are, I'm sorry. Yeah, <laughs> you, you are. You, you. you get 35. <laughs> wink, wink. <laughs> you, you didn't quit. No. You won't quit. There's always more to life. There's more than I believe there's a whole lot more I could learn and put myself into. Because right now, to be honest, I don't know if I should be saying this, but I believe I want to pursue radio announcer. Like a radio personality. A lot of my guests tell me that I need to pursue that. I, I never took that. that talent of mine seriously. I was just having fun. Like, yeah, sit, I'll write about, okay, so what I put it? For example, I'll be like, okay, write about not selling shit. That means now two o'clock and we got the big show coming up right now. We got Mr. Dr. Challenge in the show right now. I don't want to big shout out to her. And don't forget tomorrow's a birthday. And then I'll go into a whole beef. You better come on here. You, you. I need you better. on Kiss <laughs> FM 105.9 <laughs> with me. What? I did better of music, but yes, it's another thing that I go into another character of mine. I never knew I had. Wow. So I have fun if I'm not taking it serious as yet, but I believe that's my next call. Jirian, I'm just, I, there are not many people in my life that I can honestly say, and I've traveled the world, I have, and I've met some amazing people, and I'm not discounting the people that I've met, but being in your presence right now, literally, it, it, it's making me go harder, as my son would say, harder in the paint. <laughs> I want to do more. I want, I want to be all that I'm supposed to be. I want to unlock my potential because that is what you exude. Yes. You exude potential. You exude life with purpose and passion. Anything you put your mind yes. to, dude. I yes. think you started that out. It's off never on too late to learn. I Who are you telling? I understood that there's a lady in the 80s or 88. She could not use a computer and she went for computer classes. So if 88 old person, 88 year old person could go to computer classes and pass, 
Who am I or who are we huh. that we cannot put ourselves into something that we're interested in? Do you hear this? Okay, I see you doing motivational podcasting. <laughs> I see you telling people that, you know what, you better get up and you better do it. And I just see you living the life that you were destined to live. I remember nothing lasts forever. Everything is a season. So Everything if you is a season. down right now, you'll be up just now. If wow. you feel like you don't have nothing in life right now, you'll get on a whole lot more. Just nothing lasts forever. Everything is a season. Everybody has a time. Aye, aye, For aye, example, aye. five plus five is what? Ten. <laughs> Yeah, 10. <laughs> okay. Three plus, um, how do I explain? Three I plus seven is 10. Everybody you. has their own story. I got you. Everybody has their own timeline. Whatever is looking up for that person that was their time, you will get your time. Wow. So I'm just going by living in the moment and just putting God first. Hi, hi, hi. Oh, boy. <laughs> I don't want to cry, but hi. When God brings. Greatness <laughs> into your life. And you know it was nobody but him. You don't squander the moment. You don't squander the what ifs. Jirian, yes. I, to be so young. Yeah, you are very young. <laughs> <laughs> to have gone through what you have gone through. You are a poster child for this nation. And I love our country of St. Lucia. I'm looking to be a citizen real soon. All right, those who are in power, <laughs> make me a citizen. <laughs> but to have accomplished what you have accomplished, what do you want? What do you want the rest of your life to look like? The rest of my life? Yeah. Wow. It's to make people happy and by how would I put it? The rest of my life. It's to be a positive role in everybody's life and always look at life that there is a higher there's a higher call and a higher purpose and to be the best that you can be. Uh-huh. And you'll get your dream. Things will work out for yeah. you. To be a difference in life, to be a role model, to set the example. To set the example. Yes. What would you say to someone? who's watching our show right now, thank you so very much for watching, that said, I can't get past my mom not being here. I understand. I understand God knows everything, Jirian. I get that. But I'm hurting right now. What do you say? What do I say? Worry about nothing. Pray about everything. Philippians chapter 4, verse 6. Wow. That's all I have to say. That's what you have Worry about say. nothing, pray about everything. It's in the Bible. Philippians chapter 4, verse 6. And that's my screen wallpaper right now. Hi, 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 hi. Yeah. I told you we were in for a treat tonight. I told you that there was going to be someone that was just going to bless you right where you are. I don't know where my EP gets these amazing people. But I do know that he has such a calling on his life that he never, he never disappoints. So if you've got a story, if you've got a business, if you're putting your hands to the plow and you're trying to figure this thing called life out, would you know that you're not in this thing by yourself? And I really do mean that. I am so grateful. I am so honored that God would allow me to be in the presence of greatness. I pray that everything you do from this point, man, comes up roses. I pray that for the amount of tears that you've ever cried, that he gives you dancing <laughs> in your soul. Thank you so very much for being an agent of change. Thank you so, so very much for doing exactly what you said you were going to do, which was live every single day. Yes. You said it yourself best. You said, I don't know what tomorrow brings, but I'm optimistic about it. Yes. How many people literally can say that if you're going through eviction, if you're going through, through repossession, if you're going through someone telling you, get out, <laughs> you can't hold this or you can't hold that position, and for you to still stand up every day yeah. 
You remind me of this thing that I used to play with when I was a little girl. We would punch it and it was a weeble wobble and it would come back up. You'd punch it and it would come right, right. back up. You're a weeble wobble man. <laughs> <laughs> if you've got a show, story to tell, I want to hear it. Please stay engaged with me on all social media platforms at Talk to Tanji. I swear to you, I'll answer. <laughs> It will give me three things, three things that you can say that will move folk out of their own way and get them to that place that they need to be. Three things. <clears throat> Number one. Believe in yourself. Believe in yourself. Two. Love yourself. Love yourself. And three. Put God first. I <laughs> Put God first. Jerrion, what a blessing to this country you are. Thank you. You truly I are. Believe, I believe, not again, but I believe one day on a celebration project. I'm not too sure what it's going to be, but I have, a belief, I have a strong feeling that something is on the way, that I will be for celebration to bring back, to just bring that vibe, that happiness. Like, I don't know what it is, but I believe I'm going to do something big for the island. Oh Pretty soon. Do you hear this? Can I, can I tell you that you're already doing it? And for those who need to see this show tonight, they will see it and your phone's gonna ring and you better let me know when it does so I can put them on the show to <laughs> advertise. <laughs> My shameless plug. All right, that's our show. I hate to go, but I pray that we've said something seriously to move you from where you are to where you wanna be, where you really need to be. I pray that you become the agent of change and that you know if you've got breath in your body, then you've got work to do. Is that right? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Every day you wake up is a purpose for you. God have a purpose. As long as you wake up in the morning, yeah. God is not done with you yet. As long as you wake up in the morning, God is not done with you yet. Do you hear this? <laughs> <laughs> I love you, man. Thank you for coming to talk to Tanji, and I'm looking forward to having great stories told about your life. Tell everyone before we go how they can stay in contact with you. Wow. <laughs> I didn't see that one coming. Um, I could be found on social media, Jerry and Trixie Chowdhury. That's Facebook, also Instagram, 758 Trixie, T-R-X-Y. And um, my phone number, 486-5958. You don't I'm, answer, right? Yeah, but I'm fully <laughs> into tourism right now with my company, Island Taxi and Tours. Island Taxi and Tours, I must say. And it's fun over there. Wow. Yeah, so. All right, Alan, taxi and tourism. Now he plugged you. You better come on and work with us. <laughs> I love you so very much. The Lord said the same and the creek don't rise. We're going to do this thing again next week. Same time, same station. Bye. Since you remember